Hi, it's Mike Thornton from Production Expert, and in this video, I'm going to demo the new Sculptor module in Isotope's Neutron 3. If you want to learn more about Neutron 3 or find out what we think about it, then do check out our in depth article on Production Expert. But in this video, we're going to take a look at the new Sculptor plugin. So we've got the piano track here. So I'm just going to go into the insert and down to Isotope and pick up the dedicated Neutron 3 Sculptor plugin, which you get with Neutron 3 Advanced. And you get this window here. And so the first thing we need to do is to tell the Sculptor plugin what the instrument is that it's going to be listening to. So it's obviously, you know, it's a piano track, so it's going to be keys. And then we've got basically four different types of keys. So it's piano. So now we select that. So now it kind of knows what it's going to be going for. And it's set up all the different settings. Because don't forget, the Sculptor is a multi-band compressor on steroids. So instead of normal four bands, it's got 32 bands it would be a very busy user interface if we had access to all of that. So there's all sorts of cleverness gone on under the hood, and we are simply presented with these basic controls here in the what's called the HUD controls. We've got an amount, we've got tone, which is really going to tweak the timbre of the process sound, and speed, which is all about the ballistics of the dynamics processing going on underneath the hood. So let's uh, just set this up, start playing. So what I'm going to do just to demonstrate is to put the amount right up so that we can hear what's going on. And then let's play with the tone so we can make it darker or brighter. We can change the ballistics, the processing, so we can make it punchier faster attack, release, slow it down. One of the things you can do is to check it, bypass. Is I quite like the sound of using quite a lot of processing, but then to use this parallel compression, so parallel processing, so we can get some of the original through and some of the processed. I actually prefer sometimes the sound of using this sort of mix control rather than just turning the amount down. But we can say make it darker, listen to bypass. This sort of idea is what I like. So that's the piano. So let's uh, take a look at how it might sound on one of the uh, brass tracks. So if we go for this one, the trumpet, native plugin, isotope, neutron three, sculptor. Again, we get this window. So it's actually an orchestral brass high. It's so it trumpets fairly high. So again, all the cleverness has gone under the hood to produce a set of uh, settings that's going to work for this sort of a sound. Amount all the way up. Bright tone. And if we just bypass that, Again, perhaps slightly too much, and so we just pull it back, and that will help that sort of cut through nicely through the mix when we get it all in context. So, I hope you found this demo video on using the new Sculptor module in Isotope Neutron 3 Advanced helpful. And if you want to learn more about Neutron 3 from Isotope or find out what we think about Neutron 3, then do check out our in-depth article on Production Expert. I'll see you again soon.